Hi guys, Jin here. If you notice, I'm using a backdrop this time. Well, it's actually the cloth I use to line my table when I go to bazaars, but it was just as well. Polka dots are good. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm going to do a product review. Uh, if you haven't heard of uh, Picture Polish, Picture Polish is a five free nail polish brand from Australia and I really love their colours and one thing that I've been wanting to try is their nail polish remover. Alright, so this is the remover. So it's called Dad Remover by Picture Polish. Alright, when I first saw this remover on Sveta Sanders' Instagram and she made it look like it was so easy to remove and it's actually not acetone based which is amazing and I was like, oh my god, it looks so easy to remove I'm like, I need that man, I totally need that Yeah, and I was so impressed that when I went to buy it I actually bought six bottles Yes, I bought six bottles of nail polish remover even when I haven't tried it before, okay? I have that kind of bad habit, you know if reviews say it's good, I'll buy it sometimes, most of the time yeah so it came and I got six bottles and let's just say it wasn't what I expected not that I'm saying that it's bad but well, I'll tell you soon enough but this is my review on it and it's totally based on my personal experience this is not sponsored or whatever I love picture polish but you know, not all products are you know, perfect okay? Alright, number one, when I open this bottle, man it stinks, seriously it stinks. It's not the same smell as normal acetone based nail polish and I'm so used to the acetone based nail polish which smells kind of like thinner and this smells like, I have no idea what this smells like but it, it just, ah. Oh. Okay, it, it might just be me or my own personal preference, but I can't stand the smell. Okay. Two. Alright, it's pink. Why is it pink? I don't know why. The ingredients do not say anything about colouring or whatever. It might be because of some of the chemicals that are used in it, but right now, it doesn't turn my nails pink, so good enough. Okay, three. It's a non-acetone based nail polish remover. So that means that it does not work as fast as acetone based ones because as most of you know or don't know acetone based nail polish removers really 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 corrosive okay how i know that i will post it up in another video but um it's actually corrosive enough that it will remove the nail polish really fast okay i'll i'll show you later and for this one it takes a while Four. Okay, when you use this nail polish remover, it does not dry your nails out, instead it moisturizes it because it has seed oil in it and it's actually pretty good. Okay, I've been talking about all the bad things about this nail polish remover but I have to say, I do use it. It's not like it's been in my closet for like, you know, six months or something like that. Well, most of them were because I have six bottles. Yeah, so I actually use it to remove nail polish off of gel yes 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 if you didn't hear me right I do put normal nail polish on top of my gel polishes because I sometimes I break my nails and I need to gel them but I still want to paint my nails other color yeah so if you see my nails now the Aztec ones are still here yes yes I'm gonna change them soon soon all right all right okay so this nail and this nail are actually gel extensions because they broke and I'm going to show you what happens when I remove them with the picture polish nail polish remover and I'm going to use the acetone on this nail which is uh, my natural nail and you can compare like how fast it goes or what really happens but the good thing about non-acetone based nail polish is that it doesn't um, work its way through the polish as fast so when you're you're removing it on over the the gel it doesn't remove the gel as well it doesn't really affect it right now i use this just to remove um like nail po normal nail polish off my gel polishes when i'm using them all right so this is my aztec design and as i pointed out this is an extension like that okay and that is also an extension. These are my natural nail. 
yeah, I'm going to use a stone based nail polish remover on this nail and I'm going to use the picture polish nail polish remover on this nail and you guys can see for yourself how well it works, okay? Dun dun dun. When you get it onto the cotton, yeah, it's like that. It gets quite watery, so I tend to like put the excess back into the bottle. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. Right, so I'm just rubbing. Still rubbing. Yep, still rubbing. Okay, this is real time guys. I'm not fast forwarding this at all because I, I'm, it's supposed to show you how long it takes to remove it off. You can see the gel in the middle already. So, I'm just take it off the parts that are not. Gel, don't come off, don't, don't freaking come off, no. No, still good, still good. A little bit more, man, a little bit more. Come on, can't do it. Peel it off. <sighs> it's finally done. It's finally done. I used that one cotton and it, it's finally done. Yeah. And you can tell, if you can tell, it's actually quite oily. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you what happens if I use normal nail polish remover. I keep mine in a pump bottle, a glass pump bottle, because it is corrosive. Okay, got that little bit. Yep, sorry for the dirty cotton, but I'm not gonna waste cotton, man. Alright. So, rub it. I can't actually rub with acetone. Alright, there you go. See the time difference it took? I told you. Well guys, that was my review. I hope it helped. Seriously, this is all just my own opinion on the nail polish remover. And I do like it. If you like this video and if you want me to do more reviews or you've got any suggestions on what kind of tutorials or videos you want me to make, 
um, do put it in the comment box below and I hope I see you really soon. So, bye guys.